Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a two-proportion z-test. So this is a situation where you have two samples or two sample populations. You want to test and see if there is a difference between the groups. Are they, are they significantly different or are they pretty much the same? So let's say in this example we polled a little over 700 people and we asked them whether they would be okay with an increase in fees on their utility bills in order to support sustainable research. So group A and group B were surveyed and out of group A 245 said yes, out of group B 231 said yes, out of the respective observation total of 341 and 393 respectively. So our question is, is there sufficient evidence at a 0.05 alpha, our 0.05 significance level, to conclude that these two groups differ significantly. So we are saying, well, do these two groups, are they, are they not equal? Well, the null hypothesis is basically, basically saying that they, they are effectively the same. Their, their success rates are effectively the same. And our null hypothesis says, no, there is a big difference between their responses. So these are the formulas that we will use to test this out. First, what we need to do is get our p hat. And our p hat is basically our success over our observations, the division of that. So we're just say equals 245 here divided by 341. And it gives us 0.71. We're going to drag this over. It'll copy the formulas over. Now, to get our pooled p hat, which is the pooled um, p hat values for group A and group B, all we need to do is add the sums of the successes, or I'll just put sum of the successes, divided by the sum of the total observations. And that gives us our pooled p hat. So with my z test number, this is going to be my p hat 1 minus p hat 2, which is this value, these two values. So that numerator there is that minus that. That gives us the top part of the z test numerator. The bottom part is going to be based on my pooled p hat minus the pooled q, which is 1 minus p. It, q doesn't show up here, but effectively we're saying the failures. The pooled p hat successes multiplied by the pooled failures. So we're going to do square root and pooled p hat is that value multiply by 1 minus the pooled p hat and we're going to multiply that by 1 over the number of the first observations plus 1 over the number of the second observations. That gives us our denominator. I forgot to put an extra parentheses, closing parentheses there. Excel was nice enough to do that for me. Click yes and it gives us 0 0.035335. Now what we need to do is equals our numerator divided by our denominator and that gives us 369 or 36986678. So what now what we need to do is figure out the z critical value. So this is a two-tailed test since we're saying does it equal or does it not equal. So we have an upper bound and a lower bound. So we can probably do both here. And so we can find that out with the norm dot s dot inverse function. Press the tab key just to have it complete for us. Our probability is 0.05, but but it's 0.05. It's a, it's a two-tailed test. So we have to split 0.05 in half. So it's 0.025 on the right tail and 0.025 on the left tail. So this would be 0 0.025. This is going to be the lower tail because this particular formula gives us a left tail value. That's point, negative 0.195, which essentially is what negative 0.196. So the one for the right tail is going to be norm dot s, whoops, norm dot s dot inv, and it's going to be basically one minus 0.025. It's going to be the other the other part of the tail, right? So that's going to give us the 195996. And let's just make this a little bit easier to view because it's basically 196, right? 
196 on the left tail, 196 on the right tail. And that tells us either way, our Z test and comparing it to the Z critical value, it's greater than the right tail portion of the Z critical value. So we would have to reject the null hypothesis. So we are saying that there is sufficient evidence at 8.05 alpha to conclude these two groups differ significantly. Another way to do it is also to further solidify it, I guess, for our um, hypothesis testing is to look at the p-value. So with the p-value, all you need to, need to do is do 1, so I think it's 1, parentheses 1, minus the norm dot s distribution, and we are looking at our z-score is a cumulative. Uh, the norm dot s distribution is going to give us our left tail. So what we need to do is just do 1 minus that left tail. And the cumulative distribution is up to that ending point. So it's going to be true. Close parentheses. And what we need to do is multiply it by 2 because this is a two-tail test. Times 2. Oops, forgot to close the parentheses in here. That's one more closing parentheses. Press Enter. And we have a p-value of 0 0.00215217, which is much lower than 0 0.05 significance. And then, of course, that tells us we need to reject the null hypothesis. So that's the way that we can do a two-proportion z-test in Excel. Unfortunately, there is no other way to easily do it. There are other tools in Excel through the data analysis tool pack that gives us some nice um, quick analysis tool for other hypothesis tests. But for proportion testing, we have to just set it up and go through the formulas to figure it out. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.